In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this title sequence in DaVinci Resolve. So right now, I'm just going to create another timeline. Now for this one, I have two things. First one is the image. So I'm using this grunge background texture as an image for the background. And you can just simply drag into the timeline. And then let's go over to five seconds. And yeah, this is up to five seconds. And now we can drag in the second thing, which is the fusion composition. So just head over to the Fusion page, right click, and then open in Fusion page. Now, first of all, let's drag in our background and let's also go ahead and drag in this fast noise and connect the fast noise with the background and make sure we get this merge one. So for the settings, what we need to do is just go over here and change the detail to five, contrast to two and brightness to minus 0 0.5 and the scale let's change this to 3 and for the seed let's change this to 3 as well and the seed rate to 0 0.05 so this is the kind of effect that we will get but right now over here at 0 we're going to create a keyframe at scale and then at 20 frames change the scale to 1.5 so this is how it will look. Now, if you play this, this is how it appears, but you need to also drag in an ellipse and then connect it with the fast noise. Now go over to the ellipse and click on invert, and this is how it will look. You can now change the soft edge all the way to 0 0.1. Change the width and the height slightly so that this is the kind of view that we get. And if you play and go over to the timeline now, the main timeline, and this is how it, this will look. But you will see that we don't get our image and this is because we need to go over to the background and change the alpha to zero. So now if we go back, you will see that we get our image in the background as well. So now let's go back to our fusion composition over to the fast noise. And from here, let's go over to merge and change this to 0 0.3, the blend to 0 0.3 and this will look better now. Now you will see that we need to also scale the image in the background as well. So you can do that by just going over here and in the video settings over here in the inspector, you can just increase the zoom. So now this looks much better. And now go back to the fusion composition. And over here, we are going to add in this P emitter. Now, while we have the P emitter added, you can also add this P merge connected with the P merge and then also add this P render. Connect the P merge to the P render and then the p render to the merge one so this is how you can add the particle emitters so if you zoom in right now this is the kind of shape that we will get now make sure you have this p emitter selected and then go over to regions and change this from sphere to all and this will get added to the whole scene now go over to style and then change this to blob now go over to size control and change this to 0.5 and now go over to controls and change the number to one. And now you can select this velocity, change this to 0 0.01 and the angle to 90. And if you play this right now, you will see that the particles will move in the upwards direction. So this will give us a nice looking effect. Now we need to add in some more particles. So let's just move this P merge and P emitter up. And then let me select this P merge and then add in this P emitter once again and let me just slightly move this right here and this one here and then we can add this P emitter and connect it with the P merge tool. So now for the second one click on the P emitter tool and from here let's change the number to one as well and let's change the lifespan to 50 this time and let's go over to region and change this to all as well then in the slides click on the color control. And from here, just simply change the blue to zero so that we get some yellow particles as well. Now let's go back to the controls and from here, click on velocity and change this to once again to 0 0.01. But this time we're going to change the angle to 45. All right, and let's go back to the style and we also need to change this to blob. And we already have the color controls done, but with the size control, so let's change this to one and this is how it will look. So if you play this, 
here is how it appears. So now let's go back to the main timeline and here you will see this is how it appears. Now one more thing we need to do is that we need to change this like here so that this will have a variance in the size over life. As you will see, we will have small particles, yellow particles, and then they will grow up. So this will give us a very nice effect. Now we're going to do one more particle emitter. Just make sure you select P merge two and then add in another merge and drag in this P emitter and then connect it with the P merge. Now for this one, we will do something different. We will go over to the region first of all, change this to all style. This time we will change this to line. And now we will have some lines as well. So go over to size control and change this so that we will be able to view this. So at 0 0.5, now let's go over to control and change this to 5. So right now you won't be able to see them much. So we need, and this is the size that we have right now, but we need to increase this. So go over back to style and then change this to 1. And here you will see we get the lines now. But Let's increase this to right two, probably, or one point five. So one point five seems fine. We're also going to change the size from here, size over life. And if you play this, let's go back to the control and also change the velocity to zero point zero five. And let's change the angle variance to 45. Right, and this is how they appear. Now go over to temporal distribution and then click on over here and then select randomly distributed. So this will give us a random distribution for this. And this looks fine. Now you can go to the main timeline and see how this looks. And this looks much more interesting now. And now we can go ahead and add in our text as well. Let's drag in this text from here and connect it with the merge tool. The font that I'm using is this one, Bebus. And let's go ahead and change the size to 0 0.23 right here. And let's go over to shading and from here, we will select the type to gradient and let's move this one right here and this one right here. So in this one, the black one, let's go ahead and type in the color code as 606060. So this is the gray color that we will get. And let's just keep this somewhere around here at 0 0.3. Now let's go ahead and add in a glow. So make sure your text is selected and press control space search for glow and simply hit enter and this will get added so for this one change the glow size to 50 and the glow to 0 0.7 and we will keep the blend at 0 0.2 make sure you connect the text to the glow and then glow to the merge and this is the kind of effect that we will get now we will also add a line over here so simply drag in a background and a polygon line Connect them both and with the merge as well. So let's go ahead and add in this polygon line. So you can simply just drag in something like this. And of course, you can position this later on. So something like this looks okay. Now go over to polygon and change the border width to 0 0.01 and change the background color to FF2333. We're going to also add a glow for this one. So make sure you have your background selected. Press control space and search for glow. Now change the size, glow size to 100 and the glow to 0 0.976. And this is the kind of effect that you will get. Now drag in this rectangle and this will act as the mask. And you can connect this right here with the merge 4. So if you zoom out, and you need to slightly drag this right here so that this does not appear on the text that we have. But now let's go over to rectangle and right click on the width, select modify width, and there will be an option to select the shape. And then go over to modifiers tab and 
change the maximum to 0 0.433. And if you play this now, this is the kind of animation that you will get. Now let's go over to text and over here at 0, we were going to change this size to 0 0.25. Create a keyframe and then at 20, we're going to change this to back to 0 0.23. And let's go all the way to the end and change this to 0 0.20 or 0 0.23. So if you will play this, this is how it will look. Now go over to spline. Make sure you have your text size selected and unselect anything else. Make sure you click on this one so that you will see where your keyframes are. And only select these two keyframes and hit S on the keyboard. And this will ease them. Now go over to the fast noise scale and make sure you unselect this text. Then click on over here and you will be able to see that we have this. And then select your keyframes and hit S on the keyboard so that this will also have the same animation as the text. So this looks perfect. And now let's go back to the main timeline. And over here we will see how this looks. So let's play this. Go back to the Fusion page and over here, we're slightly going to change this background right here. So let me just drag this up a little bit, the rectangle. Now go over to Polygon 1 and change the soft edge to 0 0.018. So this is the kind of effect that you will get. And let me just drag this back to where it was. And also in the rectangle, change this somewhere to 0 0.0378. Now let's go back. And just to make it more interesting, I also have this sound effect. So you can drag this, any sound effect for a cinematic look. And let's just move this right here and see how this looks. So let me just move this right here. All right. So this looks much more interesting now. So so this is how you can create cinematic titles in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one.